Hey everybody, welcome back to My Slice of Heaven Outdoors. Today is Sunday, I don't know, August 18th I believe. And we're going to attempt to put on this Gorilla Lift tailgate uh, lift for a trailer. I've never done this before, I did look over the directions, it seems pretty easy. So uh, stay tuned and come along and I'll show you how I install a Gorilla Lift lift system on my trailer. Alright guys, the first thing I need to do, it says to start with the driver's side, I'm not exactly sure why, but I need to take off these trimmer racks first. This side here will come off pretty easy because the weld has been broken and it's just bolted in. But this side is welded on. I'm thinking about just taking my grinder, grinding that weld off and hopefully it should pop right off. There's one. Now I just gotta grind this down smooth. guys I'm just gonna put some black rustoleum spray paint on these spots that I grind it down to keep them from rusting or hopefully they won't rust so fast all right guys I said the first step was to just take an A housing and a B housing put them up here with this slanted side toward the back a quarter inch from the end and they also wanted the writing and the Website should have been facing out. So that's what we've done. Now it's telling us to take this one away. And we're going to mark the holes inside the, the housings. We're hoping an orange marquee will work. But I don't think so. Yeah, it worked. I can see it. Do the same thing on the back side. All right. And then I guess we're going to do the same thing with the part A. We're going to stick that back up. Make sure it's tight up against the one we left up there. Line it up right. Make sure it's still about a quarter inch from the edge, which it is. We'll mark this hole. I don't even know if that was going to show up. We'll move this second one. And mark this back hole. 
Next thing we need to do is punch those and then start drilling. Throw that hole. corded DeWalt drill that I haven't used in like 10 years but it still works. Um, this is a half inch cobalt drill bit used for hard metals and put the drill on the, the bit in the punched hole we made and just go slow. After we had the holes drilled is we need to put these bolts in and there is a square a little square hole right there this nut also has a square on the end or this bolt and it needs to be fitted in that square and then we just slide it to that hole make sure these two pieces are tight together lined up together and make sure they're in that square, which they are. And now we're going to put one on the end, which I've already done. And it's also in the square. And then we're going to put the last one on this end. Pitch. It's done. Make sure this, these right here, this gap right here stays tight together. flat washer and a 5 16th flange nut on here and now we're just going to do that to the other three Okay. They really wrote the directions so people who've never done anything like this before could follow them. Mm -hmm. They were very clear with things and explained why you needed to do things. If you don't do this, Make sure you do this. And the reason these bolts look so long, guys, is because trailers, all trailers are made different. Some of them have a tube frame, and it would need it went all the way through the tube. Or mine's just like an L-channel frame. I'm sure this is even going to work on my trailer yet because if you look right here I have this piece of metal on here that actually goes to another piece of metal has a pin that holds my tailgate on and I think this is going to be right in our way but we'll give it a try all right guys we're supposed to slide this cable through and the spring
two holes. You've got one on this side, one on this other side. Just pin these to go through there, then through both of these slots right here, through both of these springs, and then come out the other side. And what I found easy was to just take the screwdriver, pull out on it, and tap on the hammer. Oh, okay, I see how it goes. It goes through that hole, and then this ring goes over top the pin. That's what I'm thinking. Yep, just like that. So you get that, this, the directions will tell you if you ever install one of these, but this angle down piece goes behind the straight piece. Put this top pin in here, and then this roller will go i go through this roller, come out the other side. And this one must be above. Down washer. And then this pin again. guys it comes with these two s clips these are just temporary you stick them in here pull all the slack out hook it on the mesh part of the gate do the same thing with the other side Okay, now it says when you lower this gate halfway, it should stay there by itself. Don't quite stay there by itself. And you can see how much easier that is. It says if it won't stay there by itself, you're supposed to raise these S hooks up until it does. I'm going to measure up from the bottom of the gate 27 and an eighth. And then we're going to punch it, kind of try to get close to the middle of the frame as we can. Just think that's pretty close. And then we drill it. Ready? Ready. 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 Ready.
we just slide a washer on this long nut or bolt. Slide it through here. Slide another washer on. Slide a nut flange side out. Easiest way we found to do this, guys. Am I coming around? Take the S hook off. Start the bolt in there. Actually, this one must not be as high as that other one. That was pretty easy. That was easier than the other one was. Same. Don't know why that one went in so easy though. And then you put a washer and then the last nut. Oh, oh crap. All right, here it goes. See it rest right there. It's sitting right there. Go ahead and layer it all the way down, babe. So what I'm thinking about doing, guys, is cutting this piece here on an angle. Honey, I need you to do that yep. from this side. I'm thinking about taking my uh, grinder, cutting this on an angle, cut that off of there. That way it doesn't hit it and doesn't end up breaking my cable. Alright guys, that's the end of the install. Uh, in case you didn't know, that gate probably weighs 300 pounds. Maybe more than that, because it's heavy. Uh, with these lifts on here, it will definitely make my job a lot easier. Raising this tailgate up and down, because we raise it up and down like 20 times a day. It took me and my wife about an hour and a half to put it on. And as you saw, she raised it up and down with one hand. And that's the end of this video. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Uh, maybe you didn't like the video, but you like me. In that case, give me a thumbs up. Till next time, guys, you'll have a great day.